Hi, welcome to America 2.0. Um, I'm an aviation enthusiast. I was going to put this article into play about a week back, but uh, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, yes, the camera is a little dark. I apologize, but you know what I look like and what I don't look like. So, Anyway, uh, this came from Popular Science. Uh, let's see here. By uh, Kelsey B. Atherton, posted January 29, 2015. Uh, shows some really awesome fighter jets. Boeing concept for sixth generation fighter. Boeing image. Uh, okay, it talks about the already fifth generation F 35 Joint Strike Fighter slowly eases its way into American military service. Fourth generation A 10s and F 16s. Proceeded it, phased out. Pentagon's looking for the future. Alright. So the gestational period of the fighter is sometimes decades. The F-35, which is expected to enter service in 2019 completely. Uh, that would be replacing the F-16s, F-18s uh, series, or what they call it, generation, whatever, uh, fighters. Development. Uh, the development started in 1997 for this uh, uh, new generation. Anyways, so uh, let's see here. I hate skipping around, I'm sorry. So the F-18, a major success by the Pentagon acquisition standards, took just a decade to go from the existing prototype of the 1970s to the working fighter 1980s. But that's an outlier. Sixth generation department uh, from the Department of Defense hopes to split the difference and get them flying by the 2030s. DARPA already working on the future. Sixth generation fighters could include planned hunting packs of drones that may very well fight along manned fighters, but in the air for air dominance initiative. Uh, notice that's. Uh, you know, talisite and underline, that might be something. The agency notes it's looking uh, not just as specific technologies like stealth or vectored engine, but systems that work together to make a better fighter systems. Of course, uh, is a superior vague term. All right, yada, yada, yada. I'm not reading a quote by this dude. America is hardly alone in deciding the shape of the future war planes. For decades, Russia and America innovators competed first in skies above Korea and later Vietnam. Uh, straight wing first generation fighters were outmaneuvered by swift uh, swept wing competitors. The first gun fighting second generation jets manufactured right after the Korean War found themselves in the missile fights against those more advanced third generation while air to air combat still increasing rare. Uh, the same cycle of design and competition continues. In future aerial battles, American F-22s and F-35s might have to contend with China's own 5th generation J-31 and Russia's T-50. These planes are expected to serve for decades until the 6th generation arrives, screaming and kicking afterburners to dominate the skies. So, these are the sexy things here. Uh, if you notice... What do these guys look like to you? They look like the planes used in stealth, don't they? They look like the Talon aircraft that was used in the movie Stealth. It's probably exactly.